Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. This is Ageless Living TV. I'm Stephanie, and I am so, so excited to have a guest today. And this is Alicia. And I'm going to tell you all about her. So it's going to be so fun. I've been really looking forward to this. I love her YouTube channel and her blog. So let me just tell you a little bit about Alicia. Alicia has always been a fitness girl, but once she discovered yoga over two decades ago, she doesn't look old enough to even have discovered yoga two decades ago, uh, she became passionate about creating a lifestyle of practice to add more meaning to her movement and more purpose in her life. As a wardrobe stylist in New York City, she works on commercial shoots for brands like eBay, ESPN, and Sensodyne and as a yoga and wellness blogger for Mind Body Soul, did I say that right? Mind Body Soul Stylist. She has a website, alishalincoln.com, and I'm gonna post that in the description box so that you can go to that. You'll want to very much. She puts her passion into practice by showing people how to get holistically fit with exercises for the mind, body, and soul. And she's certified with the Yoga Alliance and regularly sits and moves in meditation when she's not practicing, she's hanging out with her family in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. So welcome, Alicia. So excited Hello. to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Can you believe we're talking coast to coast right now? That's pretty cool. I love it. So I'm on the West Coast and she's on the East Coast. So this is so, so cool. I love technology. So Alicia, please just tell us just a little bit about yourself. Married, kids, family, Hobbies, tell us a little bit about your life. Okay, well, married, yes. I just celebrated my anniversary, and I'm trying to remember how many years it's been. It's 14. Uh, 14 years. Wow. I've been married 14 years. It's the, the numbers just kind of all come together. I think after 10, it's yeah. like, okay. And we have two kids. I have a son who is 11, and I have a daughter who is nine. And my nine-year-old really wants a puppy, but I'm not really, it's not really in the plan for now because we live in New York. We live in Manhattan and apartment living. I don't know. A puppy just feels like it would make it so much more hectic in our apartment. So we're not getting any puppies right now. I think you're right about that. It's a lot of work and they're messy. I have three dogs, so I can tell you that. That's sure. what I've heard. <laughs> but there are babies. So when you don't have kids, you might want kid dogs it's a whole thing. maybe later i never thought i would be that person but if there is so what's it like living in new york city well i have been in new york for so i moved here when i was 22 so i'm just gonna say that new york in your 20s is amazing it's so, I, my husband and i were actually just talking about this when we were out on our anniversary, um, we were just talking about how being in our 20s in New York, it's just so much fun. There is, there's just so much to do, you know, going out at night, really late, like this is, it was just a great time to be in New York. Now, I'm still here because what happens is, is once you come into New York and you sort of find your way here, I don't think you can ever get out. Like, we talked about leaving, we love California. My brother lives in Santa Monica. It's a very nice life over there, but for some reason we're just like embedded in New York. So, I mean, we're just New Yorkers. I can't really explain it until you come here and you live here, but it becomes a part of who you are. It really does. I think other New Yorkers would agree with me. It becomes part of your identity. So, and I've been here, I think they say 10 years makes you a New Yorker. So I'm well past well past that. Oh, I guess you are. Uh, I've only been there once and I loved it and can't wait to go back. It was amazing. Just come amazing. back. <laughs> so pretty. I mean, so fun. So busy. So bustling. I just, yeah. It's vibrant. It's vibrant. Yeah. There's energy here. I mean, I could go on talking about New York. I mean, the energy of this city, it just feeds it feeds people. It feeds me at least. You'll so. have to take us on a tour one one of your videos. That would be so cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so, so you're a stylist. What's that like? I mean, are you always thinking of different ideas for styling and looking around and get, where's your inspiration? Well, you know, okay. So I just want to point something out because I watched one of your videos. It was an interview with a woman 
and I wish I remembered her name. I think she was a crafting woman and she talked about Prevention Magazine coming and doing a shoot of her. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, that was Mimi. <laughs> that was Cindy from Mimi's Mixed Bag. Yes. And I'm watching that video and I'm like, I could have been that stylist. Well, I don't think she had a stylist, but like I would go to people's houses and do the photo. Like that is something that I could have done. I've worked for Prevention Magazine many times. So I just was really... It was interesting to hear her perspective and to think about it because I don't travel so much for work anymore, but um, I have and, you know, going to see, we would call Mimi, Mimi would be like a real person, you know, yeah. going on these real person shoots. I, you know, I did a lot of those. Oh, so. how fun. And you get to meet all these different people. That would be so fun. It is. I like meeting all the different people. That's definitely a plus side of the job. When I work with my clients, like for example, yesterday, I actually just did a closet cleanse with someone. Um, oh. we, did it, we did it via Skype, because I'm now actually offering my closet cleanse to everybody. We do it over Skype. So um, for her, you know, it's much more personal. I'm working with, you know, we kind of go through her clothes and we talk about the things that are working and the things that it's time to get rid of. I help her come up with new outfits. You know, she put on a top and I'd be like, well, that would look really good if you had a black high-waisted skirt. Do you have that? And then she's like, yeah, actually I do. So she goes and gets her skirt and she puts it on and I'm like, but it needs a belt. And then she goes and she gets a belt. So, you know, we created outfits. Um, but also we cleared out her closet, which I think is just really important because I feel like women's closets particularly can get to be so stressful and overwhelming. And there's so much stuff in there that, you know, you don't even know what you're dealing with anymore. So you end up wearing the same thing every day. So true. You just grab those things that are right there. And that's what you put on because you don't even know what else is in there. And, you know, sometimes it takes a professional to help you go through and sift through it and decide, you know, does this still work for me? Does this look good? Do I even like this? Because a lot of times. So true. Now, if someone wanted you to help them cleanse their closet, they could find that information on your blog, right? Yes, on my website, alishalincoln.com, under, it's called holistic styling, because I take a whole self approach to it. It's not just like, lay out your clothes. It's more like, who are you? What is your lifestyle? And how can we fit this into that so that you can best express who you are today? Oh, I'm so intrigued by that. Oh, that sounds fun. So how did you get started with your website? I mean, being yourself and offering this to other people, how did you get started with that? Well, um, so, so I've been a stylist now for a really long time. I started that back in the 90s. Um, I started my blog. Well, the blog has had many iterations, and uh, it was originally a fashion blog. And then I got certified in yoga, and then I got really into mindful movement and meditation. So then my blog kind of went, you know, pretty hardcore over into that. And now it's come back, and I've named it Mind, Body, Soul Stylist, because now it's kind of finding... Oh bringing the two elements together. So it is this holistic style, but it's also taking this, you know, mindful approach. I'm very passionate about yoga and meditation. I mean, it kind of comes out in everything I do. So the blog now is where I experiment with all of those ideas because I definitely have a lot of ideas in that area. Oh man, you're so talking something I'm interested in. I just love this approach so much. So how did this did this blog translate into video why did you start doing um youtube well okay so i was doing my blog and then when it got really into the yoga part of it i would do the oh so i got certified to teach yoga so i actually used to teach yoga so creating yoga sequences is something that i was trained in and i actually still do it on my own for my own practice but for my blog i would do yoga sequences and it was always kind of like the wrong platform it was how do i bring this movement oriented you know sequence into a blog and like it just i don't know i was using gifs for a while which was kind of fun and cute but it wasn't right and so and then i just got this idea I didn't, and I knew nothing about YouTube. Like I had no idea the beast that I was getting into because it oh, is, 
it's so vast. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do this YouTube channel. And it just, you know, it suited this idea of doing more fitness. And, and that's actually how the channel started was I wanted to review fitness channels. Mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of evolving from that now as well, which I guess, I mean, doesn't that just happen us as people? We're constantly yes. evolving our ideas and who we are. Yes. If you're not, what are you doing? I mean, yeah. Exactly. I, my next question is, You've got a family. How do you work your stylist job and your YouTube channel and your website? It sounds like you've got a lot going on. How do you fit it all in? And it's not for everybody. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Um, I wake up really early. So this is one I wake up like today. By the time my husband got to the coffee at seven, it, it had already turned off. Like the automatic coffee had already, he was like, what time did you wake up this morning? Cause the coffee had already been on for two and a half hours. Cause I wake up cause I have stuff I need to do when it's quiet. So that's one way is I wake up early. And also I can't work at night cause that is when I'm with my family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I like to be around my kids. I, I mean, I choose that. So yeah. I choose to wake up early and do stuff. And then I have all day while they're in school. Right. Um, so it, it's a struggle. It's a constant struggle. Being a mom is like beyond full time. Um, and it is a priority for me, definitely. But because I do have things I want to do professionally, I, I find time and, you know, waking up really early in the morning is one way I do that. I, I just, I'm on the other side. My kids are all grown and just give them your time now. You're so right to do it because it feels like it went by in a flash and then it's oh. over and yeah. regrets, you know, just, yeah, I love that. And so getting up early, that's a great, great. Yeah. I mean, that's a great tip. Um, so let's just get into fitness because that's something I'm super interested in myself as a older woman, I'm 58 and it just seems like you get up and life takes over and you're busy and you had all those ideas of fitness and you're going to do this and you're going to do a yoga practice. You're going to stretch, you're going to take a walk and the time just gets taken up. What is a good starting place for people? And what kind of tips do you have for people who are very sedentary, just have no routine of fitness at all? Well, you know, I think it is very hard and I know people who work full-time jobs and I, I, I'm freelance. I work for myself. So for me, I never had to deal with that. But I do have friends who work full time and they're moms. And I don't always understand how they're able to fit it in. I have one friend, though, she goes at lunch. And I think that's a really great way to do it. She is very lucky because she has a Pilates studio in her building. So she goes and does Pilates three times a week during lunch, which I think is really good. Um, YouTube has a lot of fitness there. Um, so you can do it at home. And you know what else I've learned about these YouTube fitness channels is a lot of the routines are really short, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I always thought, even on my busiest days, if I could do 10 minutes of sun salutations, I was always better than I was before I did those 10 minutes. So even 10 minutes makes a difference. And if you're really sedentary and you don't have an exercise routine in place, then the, I would suggest to start by walking because Good. I think walking is amazing for the mind. It clears the mind and it's great for the body. And I mean, as a New Yorker, it's built into the lifestyle here. Right. So it's a lot easier than I think for other people. But, but if you live somewhere else, you might have nature. We don't have that. So if you can go out and be in nature, like go do that. Walking, stretching, two great things, especially when you're sitting a lot. I think sitting a lot is just a, just a horrible thing that we've come to in our society these days. I know I sit way too much. Um, what do you think keeps people from adding fitness to their daily life? It's, if it only takes 15 minutes, if it only takes a walk at your lunch break, it seems so simple. What do you think is stopping people from doing that? Well... I have to say, I do think that it is harder for some people than it is for other people. Like, I think some people are just more naturally inclined to exercise and others, 
it's just not something they're used to doing. And they're, they're, it's like a mental block. You're almost going to have to get past this mental block. Everybody, we all know it's so healthy and it's good for you. I mean, we all know that, but I think that some people have more of a mental block that they're going to need to get past. So I suggest for the people that have this mental block, and this is coming from me because I'm an early riser, but just wake up a little bit earlier, you know, just do 15 minutes earlier and get it over with because right. then it's done. And you, you know, might so feel good. You feel like you accomplished something. That's what I think. I think if you can do it in the morning and, and start small, you know, just if it's a walk, even getting out for a walk for a 20 minute walk is going to make a difference in how you feel for the rest of your day. I really believe this is true. I think you're right about that. I do. And, or, or a YouTube, a YouTube video. Just go put that on. You know, if it's the weather's not nice outside, then, you know, I've got a lot of ones that I'm reviewing on my channel over there that you can find one. Absolutely. Yeah. Go to Alicia's channel. She's got a lot of great videos. Really fun. What I love about your channel is you make it fun and that makes it easier to want to do it when it's fun. Just from coming from me. And one of the things I love about your videos is how you incorporate yourself and your your body image self image self esteem fitness all rolled in together and i know you have a course coming up soon and i'm really looking forward to following that and is that a place for people to start i mean where you're going to incorporate things together so okay so the i have a i guess it's a challenge but you're really just challenging yourself to 5 days of holistic fitness and this program is really about getting people to create a lifestyle of practice so that you can start moving in a better way, so you can start making better decisions. Um, it's basically about connecting to the body, clearing the mind and freeing the soul so you can become more of who you truly are. And I have created this practice to be an add-on to what you're already doing. Okay. So, so if you're not if you don't have much of an exercise routine, you can still do this five days of holistic fitness, but I'm going to want you to walk right. or do something, 10 minute YouTube video for four of those days. The day three is a rest day. So I would want you to have some sort of physical exercise. So, so that's what I'm saying is you're layering it, layering it on to what you're already doing. So if you're going to go walk for 20 minutes in the morning, then you're going to come back and you're going to receive an email from me every day. And it's going to give you a movement practice that you're going to do at home, a five minute movement practice. And then there's going to be a five minute guided meditation that I'm leading. So it's a little video um, that you just hit play, you close your eyes, and then you'll just hear me guiding you through five minutes. Because like I said, I used to teach yoga. So, you know, all these, all this meditation and all this movement practice stuff, it's just been ingrained in me through that training. So I'm just really, I really want to share it with people because I really believe in it, that it really helps people just become more of who they are, which is, love that. Really, yeah, thank I you. I love that. I love that. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm, I'm definitely in. And if you, um, I'm posting this video before the challenge begins. So if you're watching this video, go to her website and sign up. It didn't cost anything to sign up. So I was like super pleased with that. And it's free. Yeah, no excuse, go sign up. So there's that. I also, I have a passion for aging because I'm aging and pretty much there's so many cool um, parts of our life that we go through. You know, you're a kid, then you're a young adult, then you're into the family, then you're into this emptiness, then you keep going. There's all these other places. So it seems to me that fitness seems to be a young people's game some, so many times. And most of the women I know don't really have a whole lot of desire for fitness. And I just wonder if if you could talk a little bit about why we need it as we age, how is that going to help us? And maybe just a little inspiration for us older women. Yeah. You know, I just want to say that I know what you mean about it being geared towards younger people because I go to uh, a lot of fitness classes or yoga classes in the city and there are certain classes I go there and it's just like, all 22 year olds, 24 year olds, you know, and it's just a completely different, it's a different vibe. I feel old and um, yeah, so I know exactly what you're talking about. As I've gotten older, um, my routine has changed. Um, I'm way more into low impact now. Um, 
the importance of doing uh, weight bearing exercises. You know, I've known about this for a long time. Strength training with weights um, is so important for your bones as you get older. Um, the other thing is I also fully believe that we need to exercise our bodies, but we also need to strengthen our minds. So I think that meditation also really helps with the aging process and just more self-acceptance. Um, so it doesn't have to be this vigorous exercise routine to get benefits. It's just about creating that practice in your life and doing it, you know, every day. I mean, I love I guess that. I love that. And it just brought to mind too that sometimes it's hard to go to a gym or a place because we feel like they all look better than us. And you have to go watch her body shaming video. I loved that. Self-acceptance is so important. And you know, I, it, it's just so important. You got to go watch it. it. I loved it. Thank uh, you. Okay. So is there anything I didn't ask you that you wanted to talk about or shout out about your, your channel or your blog or just a thought that you wanted to share? I I feel like I just shouted out about my channel and my blog. For like I this. wanted you to. I want people to go see it. <laughs> well, everyone is welcome to come see it and um, you know sign up for the five days of holistic fitness. Like I said, it's free, and I really believe in this stuff. So I think you know it's going to help you get on track to a better way, to feeling better about who you are and the way you move through your life. That is so awesome. I cannot thank you enough for coming by. And I'm just looking forward to everybody discovering your channel. And thank you. it's just great. It's great to visit with you. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for watching my channel. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and thumbs up to like this video. And please check the description to see Alicia's channel and her website. And thank you so much. So here's to living a fabulous life at any age. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.